Hello techies. In this session we will learn how to work with get folder metadata using path action which is available under SharePoint actions. Let me drag and drop this get folder metadata using path action onto the workspace. Before learning about the properties, what is this get folder metadata using path action will do? It will retrieve the information about the folder and then it will give us as a response by using get folder metadata by path response variable. Before that, what is metadata? Metadata means collection of information. Collection of what information over here? In our case, we are talking about the folder. In a such a way, we'll get the response as item ID, ID, name, display name, path, last modified, size, and ease folder. These information we'll collect by using get folder metadata using path action. Now, we'll see a small example over here. If I go back to the SharePoint, I'm having shared document. Inside that, I'm having folder name, Power Automate Desktop. Now I want to get the information about this folder, nothing but metadata about this folder. How can we go ahead and get it? By using get folder metadata using path, using path action, we can get the information about that folder. All right, now we'll see the parameters over here. The first parameter is the site address as we have seen already how to get the site address. Now I'm going to provide the same site address over here, which we have used such a way, https organization.sharepoint.com slash sites slash, what is the site name? I'm having Power Automate Desktop Tutorials is the site name. Now our agenda is that we need to get the information about the folder, about the target folder. What is the folder path that we have? I'm going to give it as shared documents slash Power Automate Desktop, PAD. I want to get the information about the Power Automate Desktop folder, which is available inside the shared documents. All right. Now, if you go for the advanced, I'm having timeout. If you want to get the information within particular time, I'm going to provide the timeout over here. The output, which we have talked about the metadata will be retrieved once the action has executed successfully. In a such a way, once get folder metadata using path action has executed successfully by using these parameters, the output of the metadata will be stored inside the get folder metadata by re path response variable. All right, now let me click on save. Now I'm going to disable the existing actions by clicking on disable action. Now our desktop flow is ready to get the information about the target folder which we have given inside the get folder metadata using path action. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. Now by using get folder metadata action, that is by using path, we got the information that is meta information about the target folder. Now if you see over here, on the right hand side I'm having flow variables that is get folder metadata by path response. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see over here, the response, I'm having item ID, ID, name, display name, path, last modified, size, and ease folder. If you see over here, the main important name is that is the ID and the value. Now, in our previous session, we have used to update a file, we have used the display name and path, all right? by using shared document slash power automate desktop slash and the name we have given of the particular file. But in real time, it is better to use the ID because of this, this file identifier is dependent on the ID where it is having unique ID for each and every item or the folder across the site. Let me click on close. I hope you understand how to get the information or collect the information of the target folder by using get folder metadata using path action as part of this tutorial.